Today is canning hot green chilies. And if I can hold my camera still, I will zoom in on it. You can see that on the label. Hot. Okay, here we are. We're going to bring this bag of frozen hot chopped green chilies. I'm going to drain them and I'm going to take my liquid and use that, <coughs> heat that and use that for my canning instead of wasting it and just using water. Okay, this is three pounds of hot chopped green chilies. I got a second bag to do. this drain for about an hour. Okay, we're back with our green chilies. We're ready to put them in the jar and put them in the canner. These are raw. And these They're are not cooked. Raw, not cooked. And we're working with room temperature instead of hot today. So I got my canner ready. It's got water warm. Got my lids and rings. So this now we're going to fill these jars with one inch headspace. Do they get packed? No, loose, loosely packed. Don't want to just pack them in there tight. Okay, okay I can put a little more. Can tell we're not in sync. Dagny's going all over from jar to jar and I can't see him. Look oh! Right. Okay. Now I will move these to my next station for the liquid. And I will try not to hang myself on this. Okay. So once again, Adding liquid, you don't stay. Need the funnel? Or a little funnel? No. Remembering my one inch of headspace. You're right, it's not taking much liquid. I will deep bubble. Because I can, she says. Now I'm going to readjust my level a little bit. I can still take some more liquid. Now, next important thing is to wipe my rims with vinegar. And while I'm doing that, I'm triple checking my lid and make sure I got no chips, no cracks. Okay. Time to.
And that's an old curl lid. Hey. These days you can't be choosy what you have. So true. Now it looks like Dagny's really tightening down and she's not. No. This nice fingertip snug for me. Okay, these are going into the canner. When you're doing these little jars, I forgot to show you, the, they will sink under the water. So what we do is we put a layer of empty bands. In the bottom. And then we put that on. Push it down, make sure it's level. Now you can put the little jars in there. As you can see, this water's not hot. Rack. So you see the water is only coming up to, you can't see, but it's only coming up to about here on this jar. So it's not too much. Okay. Well, we got how many jars of chilies and juice? I have 13 jars of chilies and one jar of juice. Thir are there a half pint? Half pints. Flat, short half pint. And she cans of juice because we put them in other recipes. I just poured some in some tomato juice and wow. Okay, she's got them in there. Got the heat turned up. Now it's gonna get hot. And we'll be looking for the steam. And we'll see you then. Well, it reached its venting and Dagny timed 10 minutes and then popped the weight on it. It's hanging in there at about 13 and a half pounds. And it has, I can go up to it, 30 minutes for half pints at 13 pounds pressure for our elevation. It has just finished cooling down from its 30 minutes of pressure canning and letting the pressure come down. And if you would point at the little front thing, that thing. My lock is that's a lock. The gauge is at zero. Dagny's going to check the rocker. Mm -hmm. No pressure. Taking the rock, rocker off. Now, I'm going to let it sit. Ten more minutes. Okay, I'm ready to open the pressure canner. It's been, I let it sit another ten minutes after I took the pressure regulator off. So, once again, turning it and lifting it away from you. So... You can Don't see the condensation, steam. the steam up on the yeah. microwave. There we are. Ooh. Beautiful. Great. That's good. Green. Chilly. I've got my wrap and towels ready. Oh, the first jar out is juice. Oh, don't those look beautiful? Whoa. You can see they're now, still, still cooking. Oh, I scared it. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. Popped so, in her hand and scared her to death. 
think that's one on the bottom row. These are Tatler lids. So as soon as I get these out, first thing I need to do is tighten them. Give it another shot. Ooh. You're gonna have to okay. make more room. Yes. Look at that. Okay. I'll just edit the shit out of this. Can you unload? I can. Let me do that. I think I need another towel. Because I got more than I still got six more in the camera. These came out gorgeous. They be cooking away. That's a good sign. Mm-hmm. One. And two. There we have it. <laughs> Every time these pop dang it about has a cow. So there they are. Here I am again over the pressure canner. And you can see that the water's clear. It's good. Now I mentioned something in the canning red bell peppers that we also canned red bell pepper spread. And when adding that to these green chilies for a spread or whatever, it was absolutely delicious. I don't dare touch these, they're scalding hot. But consider that if you want to can red bell peppers and do a red bell pepper tomato spread with garlic. It's delicious. As always, thank you for watching. We hope you've learned something from this. If you have, please comment. If you haven't, comment as well. And I hope you subscribe.